I'm going to combine two videos this time because these two sections are really sparse. There's not that much going on here. Uh, and I'm just going to really explain them. Uh, add Mesh Smooth modifier and add Turbo Smooth modifier. What these do is it adds them with these numbers. Um, so if you know you want to add a Turbo Smooth of 2, you can just add Turbo Smooth modifier 2. So it sets it to iterations of 2 and it turns on ISO line display. Very simple. That's how all these modifiers work. <laughs> Scripts. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's delete that. So I've got this sphere here. Obviously, the pivot point is at the center. What I want to do is... Uh, let's copy this here. Okay. These are both scaled now, like so. So they're both scaled a little bit bigger than they should be. They're not non-uniform scaled. They're, they're a little bit bigger. So, I don't know why I keep doing that. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to click Collapse Selected to Poly at Origin. So what it does is it collapses it to a new object, which is at zero. I've seen the UVWs be uh, saved. Um, edge weighting, um, if you use uh, creases and stuff, all that stuff is saved. If not, let me know. Should be some weird thing going on that I can fix. Uh, I also did this one, which is the same idea except it'll allow you to keep the pivot location where it is so if I double click that it'll collapse it to zero but it'll put the pivot back to where it was that way you've got an object that is not non-uniform scaled uh, and it's also not rotated or moved it's based you know at zero uh, except for the pivot point that's been moved uh, increase soft select one and increase or I'll just show you how this one works so it, this allows you to use a hotkey to change the soft select value. So I can change, I can, uh, let's say, decrease it by 0.1. See how the soft select is getting smaller? Let me turn the shading faces on. Okay. Or I can increase it at 1, or I can increase it at 0.1. You can see the numbers changing here. So, you know, you can put on a hotkey and just click, click, click all you want. Uh, instead of having to come here and, and, you know, do this or paint it or whatever. It just gives you a little quick way to get back and forth between the different settings. Uh, Non-quad finder is exactly what it sounds like. You double click on it with an object selected and then it'll highlight or it'll select all the uh, faces that are not quads. So anything that's three or five or more it'll select so that you can see exactly what is not a quad. Okay. Now um, Poly edit explode elements to objects. This is something that used to be in in uh, Three Studio DOS. I don't know where it went, <laughs> why it's not in in Max. But basically, uh, let's say I have these objects here, and I attach them all together into an editable poly. Okay, so now I've got all of these objects that are elements now in one object. Now, if I want to detach them or explode them I can't I have to go select this detach select this detach so what I did was I created this tool so I can go ahead and select my object run this script and it'll go through and then detach each element from the original so it'll create uh, one object per element um, again so it's explode um, and that's it for poly edit and modifiers